Hello everybody, Gaskin Dev here today with another quick tip for Blender. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these awesome real-time waves. It works completely real-time with Blender EV. It's really, it's just a really cool thing I discovered recently using the Dynamic Paint Blender. Also, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, only a small percentage of people who watch our videos are subscribed. So if you enjoy the video, please subscribe. It really helps us out and it keeps us motivated to keep making these videos. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Okay, so once you're in Blender, click, press Shift A to go to the Add menu and add a plane. Scale up by something like 5, press S5 to scale it up, and then press Tab to go into Edit Mode, right click and press Subdivide, send this number of cuts to 100, then right click and press subdivide again. So we've got lots of vertices to work with. Okay, now, um, press shift A again and add a UV sphere. Scale it down a bit, just let it fit into our scene, because this is going to be our water basically, and this is going to be what's colliding with it. I think that's pretty clear from the beginning, to be honest. Now add a, now go onto your plane, go to the physics settings, this little planet orbity thingy here and add a dynamic paint physics keep the type as a canvas and click add canvas down here um, go under surface and set surface type to waves and now click on your um, UV sphere once again click dynamic paint Set the surface type to be a brush and just press add brush and that's all we need to do. So if we were to now play our animation from frame one, if we were to move this around, it creates waves. And that's it's as simple as that. So now if we were to add some materials for this, for example, go to the plane, add a new material and just make it a water material so set the metallic and the specular to the maximum level set the roughness to the minimum level it's a watery texture add any old texture on the cube and now if we play the animation again it still works in completely real time this is keyframable it's animatable i can't believe i didn't know about this until a few days back and i had to make a tutorial on it to share it with others but I absolutely love this and it gives access to a lot of um, collisions. So that's basically this tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe. You can do it for support. I'm saying this when we're small, so and I know it's very uninviting and it's weird to just subscribe to a very small channel. But please we could do it for support. Biggest YouTubers once had a small amount of subscribers thanks for watching and i hope you find some use in this and i will see you all for another tutorial very soon